hello guys welcome back i hope you are doing great in this video let's talk about rag applications again and as you can see here in my couple of past videos i have explained you to make your rag application better right so in this video also what i'm trying to do is show you two different approaches that i think are the best to optimize or follow in order to make your uh, rag applications so by the end of the video you will know two different things which in my opinion are crucial for implementing or making the rag application better let's get started okay so this is the notebook as you can see in the uh, google collab but if you want to just follow along with me i have already kept this in my youtube stops llama index and this i will provide the link in the description please follow along with me and one thing is i have already run this notebook so i'm not going to run but i will explain you what are the steps that uh, we need to follow right so yeah these are the normal um, things that we need to uh, install we don't even need this watermark uh, i can just delete this and what i'm going to use here is the same ubers uh, document because this document is good for rag application because it has tables text and so on and as many of us also know that it's difficult for let's say llms to get information out of pdfs where there are many tables and text combined so we'll be using this uh, and we'll be using different approaches into it so yeah this is the document i downloaded this and if you see here uh, there is this uber 10q mars 2022 pdf right so that is downloaded once you run this command and then if you want to run in the notebook you need to run these uh, two lines now before before going to the main implementation i just want to uh, make sure that uh, this is the normal rag applications right i have been explaining you before also there is a concept called garbage in and garbage out right whatever you provide into the machine learning model that's what you get out of it same happens in the nlms also right so for example i will show you here so this is the ingestion part and here this is the embedding storing part and then here is the llms that provide us the answer and here is the uh, embedding api that embeds the model just pause the video and just think which of these part might be the best way we can uh, optimize or which which are the two parts which you think can be garbage in and garbage out so yeah i hope you paused and think for some time but according to me this is the embedding api there is already an api you just pass through the api although the model must be better it it just does the embedding part right and the last part also here if you have the better retrieved documents it just synthesizes the answer and provides the answer for us so meaning that there is two different parts here right the first one ingestion part if your data is good then you will be able to split that into different chunks and do the better embedding and store that into your vector database so i think in my opinion the ingestion garbage in uh, instead of garbage in let's provide good documents in right and then here is the thing that we ranked results right and i think this part is the key here let's say that you have stored something in your uh, vector databases and you want to if you if you let's say extract the relevant chunks out of that vector database then you pass that into the llms meaning that instead of garbage out you will have good let's say results or ranked results out from that vector database garbage in garbage out good document in good let's say similar similar docs you get out from your database based on your uh, query which you provide into the llms right this is just a um, side note before i continue into the into the implementation so yeah for uh, what to do for this uh, ingestion part better and i am taking these examples from the uh, llama index uh, documentation so there is the llama parse and i have already created the video about llama parse llama index please refer to that video if you are new but what you need to do is just go to the website and here is the link llama cloud just create an api key and provide that api key that's all it's kind of black box you just pass the documents and you get a clean document out of it so some of you have mentioned in my previous video that isn't this kind of a black box thing yes it is black box 
you just provide your information it provides you the clean uh, clean information right it's useful uh, when it when you are practicing things it might not be the useful because you are just dumping everything there and getting results or let's say clean document out of it but once you get hang of all the steps and you know what uh, things are and let's say you spend some time cleaning the document still the rag is not better having such kind of api enabled parser might be the good option right this is just one option out of many so yeah just go there and get the api key and this is just a small code here if there is already existing one it it just takes the one as you can see here otherwise it will it will go and use the llama parse and parse that things and one good thing also i have mentioned in my previous videos also if you pass the parsing instructions into the llama parse we get better let's say the clean documents that was one of there is llama parse and we you can just go without uh, this parsing instruction also but if you pass the parsing instructions you get better clean documents so this is i have explained this in my previous videos also but just take this uh, as a grain of salt so yeah now we just have the clean documents and i just want to see how does the document looks like so yeah this is the document that it looks like and this is exactly the cleaned version in markdown of this file right so this which is in different formats which has different tables and all different things is now cleaned and it is uh, extracted here so the the heavy lifting part is done by llama parts let's say in that way so yeah the next thing i have also provided you the different links here so for llama cloud go to this one for api key so this is also the llama cloud api key not to be confused and uh, there is grok api key and open ai api key why i am passing these two i will, I will explain you later so yeah first what we, we just need to import the necessary things from here i first tried with the fast embed embeddings and use the grok uh, and as you can see here yeah i think you might be confused now why did i use this user data dot get so i have stored my keys in this if you see in the google collab now there is this keys things you can just pass the name and value here and there is an example also how to get this so from google.collab user data so i have maybe provided somewhere here yeah here user data and then user data dot get you can just provide the name and you get the api key so this is really good way of uh, using the keys in the in the google collab these days so yeah that is what i am doing here and i use the grok uh, model mixed all this model and just pass the api key and just set this to settings.llm equals to llm because by default uh, llama index uses open ai models then i use this markdown element parser use this model and then want to create the nodes but what happens here is it it went through here zero percent but then i find that it somehow didn't didn't succeed there were some timeout issues with the grok model and and some of the strings were not passed properly as you can see there were 78 different steps that it needs to do but it just failed in in some of the steps and as you can see here i just i just run different let's say i spend some time configuring configuring this but yeah at last uh, it didn't pass and it throw some error so what i did is then switch to open ai model so this is the part here you can quickly switch between different models also right so as you can see here now what i did was i took the open ai embeddings with it i don't need to use the embeddings i could have used the previous one but i just switch that into the open ai api key and i use the embedding model open ai embeddings and then i use the text embedding three small and i use the gpt 3.5 turbo 0125 and same thing here so for you also if you want to use different models from different providers just give a try try with the grok also it might work for you other than that these five uh, lines or let's say these four lines if you switch between different providers and different models you can follow along with me so this is just a side note that i'm using two different things because the first one didn't work that well so this is also good that you can switch between different models so now just to show you that which model i'm using because i changed this now to open ai so this is open ai and one really good thing that not good thing but one thing that i want to point out here is once you run these llms 
it shows all the different things but also it shows your api key here right i have seen many people like let's say your api key has been exposed and so on but what i noticed is i just print this here and save this in my github and somehow openai noticed that my api key was being exposed so what they did was send me the email and automatically they disabled my api key that was really good of them they, they are tracking our api key and if it is exposed into the internet they just disable that that's really good i didn't knew that before but now if you somehow expose there is let's say the good part that openai does the revoking things not all the cases but it works for me so yeah now what we need to do is yeah the such uh, nodes equals to node parser dot get nodes from documents and then we just pass the documents that we get from the llama parser and this also as you can see it shows some issue, some errors but this is the error that we can ignore just just notice that if there is this progress bar that's the reason i passed here progress equals to true and if it shows increasing then this is this is good so as you can see it was increasing and at the last i just waited and it took some time uh, and at the end as you can see it says 100 percent 78 of 78 and it's uh, it's completed so once that is done we have our nodes so now what we do with that is we we just create the base nodes and the objects i hope if you have followed the llama index this is how the nodes and objects things work in llama index we have the node parser dot get nodes and objects from these nodes right now we have the base node and the objects once that is done now I'm trying to show you or what Lama Index guys has created this documentation in such a way that one we use the recursive index and the next one is the raw index. Now comes the next part, right? The garbage out part, but the good document out part. So what what I'm doing here, what what the documentation is doing here is some vector store index. We are passing the base, base nodes plus objects. This is the recursive index. Remember this one. And the next one is the raw index where we are just passing the documents we are not having this base nodes and objects that is another level of having your rag application better right and after that we are going to use the re-ranker so this is the next part which i was saying again there are many step step things but then we have this flag embedding re-ranking and here we are using this B A A I B G E re ranker large and here i'm saying top en equals to five and here we have this recursive query engine recursive index this is the one we created here dot as query engine and we have similarity top k equals to 15 so we are taking the top k 15 documents similar similar documents based on our query right and then we have this node post processors and we are passing this re-ranker so how this works is without this re-ranker we just take the top k out of let's say the vector database we pass that into the lm to get uh, the answer here what we are doing is we get first the similar 15 documents and then we re-rank that document and get the five and then pass that into the llm so it gets the better uh, better answer out of that so that is the that is the thing that we are doing in here so this is the raw query index right it takes some time then our all, all the things like this the read anchor is being implemented wrong what we can do now is just ask the questions so here the question is how is the cash paid for income taxes net this 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 and first we are getting the response from raw index and next one is the recursive index so raw index it just gets the answer okay 41 dollar that's it but it gets 41 dollar because we have the good let's say clean documents when we pass into our llms and also when we use the you know, recursive uh, query engine the answer is a little bit let's say formatted way and the good here so cash paid for this 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 and this is 41 dollar so a little bit better answer is same but a little bit better way right and as you can see here the answer is i just took this screenshot from here so it works and the next one is what is the change the question is there i don't i don't need to go through the each and every part but there is the question here is the answer and again with the recursive and retrieval plus new lava parts answer is a little bit better right if you just go along to other questions also what is the net loss attribute compared to last year okay the net loss attribute to last year is this 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 and there is answer here 
and with this llama parse it is getting let's say in in a in a in a better way that's what uh, i want to show in the precise answer for example here it just says 5.9 billion but here it is 5930 it gets okay 5930 and so on so because it re-ranks the query uh, no not query it re-ranks the document that are similar that's the reason it's getting better answer right and and the next one here was also the what way the cash flows like uh, from investing the activities so this is the answer that it gets and it's quite lengthy here so it provides all the random answers but with the re-ranker part it just provides the answer in a better way let's see so yeah this is this is just i tried it and i find it better so i just want to share with you so what did we do here i just want to show you this because uh, all the time we are talking about uh, rag 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 things right? and the better way of doing rag things i have explained so many different steps that you can follow in my previous video but here just the implementing helps right although it looks like we just did llama parts and re-ranking we did uh, quite the things here in the llama parts we just uh, don't use the llama parts we use the llama parts also with the parsing instructions remember that parsing instructions llama parts and the re-ranker we did the re-ranker but before that also we have these nodes plus base nodes and objects from that node so we have one step further there using these techniques uh, from llama index you can create the better rag applications and with the models part also i tried with grok model it didn't work mixed troll i tried with open ai it works so you can also play around with different models i just want to show you different things so you can you can try with that so yeah that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you learned something new just give a try and also it is not that expensive because when i tried all this with open ai it was just 20 cents uh, so although 20 cents might not be uh, might not be the big but if you want to run this in production think about that is it feasible or not right you need to you need to think what kind of applications you want to make in which scale you want to make and so on so yeah if you are new and if you haven't subscribed please do so and let me know in the comment section what kind of video you want to you want me to me to create other than that thank you for watching again and see you in the next video